This is an update for Sunday, August 27th through Saturday, September 2nd. So this is my 2015 Diamondback Podium Etep. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, this is the chain right here that we're, I'm going to be cleaning. I'm not going to film myself cleaning or lubing this chain because, I mean, honestly, I'm just going to go at it with a toothbrush and some alcohol until it's cleaned and then just add a bit of lube to each link in the chain and be done with it. Uh, I will say that this bike is amazing, even if it's upside down. It's a carbon fiber frame, carbon fiber seat post, and the fork is carbon fiber and the steerer tube is also carbon fiber. Now the steerer tube is the part that attaches to the fork right around there and runs through the head tube and then attaches to the uh, handlebars up here. Uh, I got this bike in 2015 or 16, I don't remember, from a website, an online merchant called Price Point. They were going out of business and I think at the time the MSRP on this bike was 2,500. I got it for under 15, well under 15, 12, 13. It's brand new because it was just they were just dumping all their merchandise and uh, this is the single most amazing bicycle I have ever ridden in my life. I can't even begin to describe this thing. Uh, if you're in a road bike and you're on the edge or on the fence about a carbon bike, even if you're in, I, I can't speak for mountain bikes and this is the only carbon road bike I've ever ridden, but if you're looking for a carbon road bike and you're on the fence about them, I cannot recommend them enough. This thing blew my mind away the first time I sat on it and rode it, and it has continued to do so every time I've ever rode it. Um, unfortunately, it has been hanging in a barn since 2016, 2017, somewhere in that time frame. So it is filthy, but my current goal is to just get this chain clean and get it riding again so I can get out on the road. Not sure where at around here because there's not a cycling culture in New Ulm or in Minnesota that I can figure at all. But, you know, we're going to figure it out. Ah, yeah, the, uh, the isopropyl is uh, not cutting the mustard as well as I would like it to. I was just messing around because I don't like have any actual chain cleaner or any good degreasers right now. I do have an actual chain cleaning device. I think I need to dig that up. It got moved here I believe but I don't know where at and I haven't seen it since I moved but I really haven't looked for it but I did get some uh, lube on the chain and I got it worked in and I got it wiped down pretty good and it's it's cleaner than it was um, it's definitely clean enough to get the bike out for a ride um, before I get too carried away I need new tubes uh, I need to find a job before I do that because I'm really really low on funds so uh, once I find a job and I get tubes I think I should be good to go for the rest of the year, although I'm going to definitely try to invest in some new tires come next year. These are the uh, tires that came with it, and they've got a few miles on them. Nothing absurd, but they do have some wear indicators that they are going to need to be replaced real soon. They're really high-end, really nice Michelins, but they're, you know, they, they're not designed to last a long time. They're, you know, designed to be really awesome for a few rides on what is essentially a competition, a low-end competition grade bike, so I need something a little more robust, but that's not too bad. I'll get those. Um, I'm going to get some air into tires and uh, get my uh, cycling shoes on and helmet and I think take this guy around the block and just kind of see if it's still, still rideable and where it's at. Okay, we are back. It is actually some hours later. I'm fighting with a migraine today and I, I actually came home and then just straight up laid down. Uh, I took some painkillers a few moments ago so hopefully that'll help clear things up. Uh, I drink a lot of Mountain Dew to help deal with these things. I really don't want to keep drinking the Mountain Dew because it's kind of uh, kind of counterintuitive to the weight loss healthy thing. So uh, yeah, yeah, I, I need to get in with a doctor and talk to someone about that but I, I need a job and I need insurance before I can do that. Yeah, I got back from the bike from the bike ride. It, it was fine. I mean, aside from the fact that I have not ridden 
a bicycle like that since I don't know, June of 2017. So yeah, it's it's been six years out of the saddle, and it's it was rough. It took me a half hour to make a little more than five miles, and that that is quite pathetic. But I, I got there. I got out. I got the bike in rideable condition. It's not perfect. I still need to tweak my uh, seat post, my seat height, and my handlebars are tad crooked from the trip, and I didn't get them straightened out when I put them back out. That's not a big deal. So now that I can get out on the bike, I'm going to start getting out on that in the mornings, Get try to get an hour in. I have a pretty quiet road I can ride on here. Uh, if I can get you know a full hour's ride in, that'll be, uh, that'll be pretty good for me for now. We're starting out at least for the rest of the year in the next couple of months or however long I'm going to be able to ride. I, I don't mind riding a bit in the cold, so if it gets a little chilly in the mornings, that's fine with me. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, I went up and uh, I talked to the uh, supervisor of the custodial guys and such things at MLC about the uh, the MLC job. Uh, it apparently had already been filled. No one had told him. Uh, so the candidate starts September 11th. So I, I, I guess that job is uh, is out. It would have been a nice job. It would have been a real easy transition, but it is what it is. So I'm back to trying to find work of some sort full time that will be happy to take me for a year. And that's that's the tricky part is finding an employer who's going to be willing to hire you for a year. Period, knowing that you're either going to leave them in a year or you're going to go back down to part time. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. I I can't tell them that I'm looking for you know extended length of time. I, I can't do that. I won't do that. That's just complete utter dishonesty and that's just not a Christian thing to do. I'm not going to lie about any of it. They're either going to know what's going on and know the truth, or they're just they're not, they're not going to hire me. Um. So yeah. I applied for a job at Napa, a counter sales position, and I was offered and I took that. It is kind of in between part-time and full-time. I'll be working 32 hours a week, which is probably going to be good enough. It'll give me, should give me some time to study and, you know, exercise and take care of the things that I need to get done, which is more important than having a full-time job so it's kind of something that my wife and I were were discussing and where we kind of landed at um, Friday night we had to take the five-year-old into the emergency room because he cut his wrist open on a chunk of metal sticking out of a chair was it Thursday night it's Thursday night that was Thursday night um yeah that was that was fun He's fine. He, he they, they didn't end up doing any stitches. They just put on some of those uh, suture strip things and wrapped it up and we're supposed to keep it all bound up for 10 days. And then Friday evening, the three-year-old fell headfirst into the corner of an open drawer and gashed her eyebrow open. But it, it we, didn't end up, we didn't have to take her in or anything. It was, it was pretty bad, but it clotted and up pretty quickly. So... Both of them were fine, both of them were safe, both of them could have had much more serious injuries, but as usual, the the Lord is looking after us and keeping us safe, and don't know why, he just does it. <laughs> um, tired tonight, really tired tonight, uh, let's see, I start the Napa job on Wednesday at 8.30, Other than that, um, not a lot has been going on this week. It's just the stuff about the bike. Uh, I got a good walk in at uh, Flandreau State Park on Wednesday. I haven't been out doing much of anything else the rest of the week, but I don't remember what happened Wednesday, and then it just Thursday and Friday, and things just didn't pan out. Um. But I got next week to get back into it, and uh, now I can start working my schedule, the things I need to do, exercise and language work and whatnot, into my work schedule. 
So I'll have a slightly more um, solid groundwork here to work on instead of it just kind of being all over the place right now. I don't have a lot going on, so we're just kind of jumping back and forth and left and right, and there's just there's no consistency, so that'll be nice come, come Wednesday. Other than that, as I said, I can't think of anything, anything else that's been going on, so uh, may the Lord bless and keep you all always, and uh, I will be back next way with an update next way next week with an update on how the job is going and on how things are going in general.